Hello everyone, I'm Inal, general partner at Ton Ventures. And in this video, I want to share one of the most important things you have to think about and implement in your games, social mechanics. By social mechanics, I mean four main things you have to think about in your game. The first one is about referral system. There are different types and different like levels of referral systems, and we will talk about them in details in a couple seconds. Next thing you have to think about is competitions and leaderboards. And also squads and te teams and very are very important. And PvP, basically this is a part of social mechanics, but I want to highlight a couple things about PvP uh, in the next session as well. But now let's focus on referral systems. Actually, there are two types of referral systems that you can use in uh, your app. The first one, I call them simple text invitations. Um, you can see how it works uh, on the example right now. Basically, when you share um, a link to the game, when you invite your friends, it is like very simple text invitation. You cannot have anything there. You just can have basically a link to your application, to your game basically, and you can have some like a text and emojis in the, in the message. It is easier to share on Telegram. Um, actually, it is like very easy to share, but it has lower conversion rates compared to the next type of uh, invitations and referral systems. The next type of invitations, I call them rich invitations. They look very, very solid on Telegram because they can have a very good preview picture and this picture even can be personalized. It means that you can have higher conversion rates. So users, your players, will invite the same number of their friends, but more people will click to the button or to the link and play your game. It means that you will have more users and higher chances to get like really viral. This is very important for a game. But there are some disadvantages as well. As soon as these rich invitations use inline mode of a bot, it is a bit harder to share. So you always have a choice what type of invitations to use. Simple ones, simple text invitations, or rich invitations. Both have advantages and disadvantages. So you have to choose what type of, inv of invitations you want to use. For example, Notcoin decided to use simple text invitations. Another very successful game in the Ton and Telegram ecosystem called The Pixels decided to use rich text invitations. So it's up to you, completely up to you, what kind of invitations uh, you basically want to use. But rich invitations have another advantage. They op open mini app directly, not the bot, but the mini app. It means that less people gonna stop at the bot level. They will immediately open the game and they can be engaged in the game right away. So it can be important when you implement a game. So uh, please consider this very important aspect of invitations as well. One more very important thing that you have to remember, referral systems must provide rewards to users. This is very, very important. In some games, users will share just because it is fun. But if you want to get really viral and if you want your users to invite more than one friend, you have to give a reward to a user. And there are two types of uh, implementation of uh, rewards for users. The first one, it was implemented in Notcoin. It is one level referral system. You get uh, some number of tokens of a reward as soon as you invite your friend. I mean, as soon as your friend basically opens the game, you get a reward. And this is one time reward. For example, in Notcoin, it was 50,000 uh, not, as far as I remember, um, as a reward when you invite your friend. And you get it only once. Another example, again, is the Pixels game. And it is multi level. It means that basically you invite your friend and you get a reward for it. When your friend invites their friend, you also get a reward, smaller, but you still get a reward. They even had three levels of uh, rewards, three, three level, multi-level referral system actually. And what is important in the pixels, it was like a continuous rewards. It means that you were getting a percentage of earnings or points of your friends and their friends. So again, there are two types of uh, 
uh, rewards that you can provide to users. And what is again very important, it can be counterintuitive, but one-time rewards usually work better than continuous rewards. It means that users want to get immediate reward. As soon as they invite their friend and uh, their friend opens the app, they want to get a reward. They do not want to wait for a long time. But probably the best thing that you can implement right now is kind of mix of these two approaches. Give, um, I don't know, fixed but limited number of um, rewards to a user as soon as they join the game, but keep rewarding if their users continue playing the game, if their friends continue playing the game. So probably this is the best thing that you can implement um, about uh, referral systems and rewards.